All right, we got the new tires installed. Shout out to Mark and the guys at Discount Tire helping me out. Got the tires done real quick, like 30 minutes. Got them all balanced, set up. I just drove around the block. They feel nice, smooth, no road noise, and it absorbs all the bumps because the last tires, they were bald as hell. I was boom, and I hit the... I hit the fender liner every time. I don't know what's going on, but these tires, pretty good so far. You can see my car is kind of busted right now because it's got dust, sand everywhere. Mark polished the wheels for me, so shout out to him. But the plan today is I'm gonna wait for evening, like six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock maybe. We'll come down to the car wash, wash the car, because right now if I wash it, there'd be spots everywhere. I should get it ceramic coated, wax it, uh, get the new tires looking all nice, clean up the wheels a little bit. And um, yeah, non Kang NS25 all season tires, performance all season tires. It's a 255 35 R19. Same thing. I just did a couple launch controls here and there, and they grip right away. So we're going to see how the grip is in the rain as well. Overall, very nice. I like. Oh, I'm actually getting new tires tomorrow, so I wanted to sort of uh, send a goodbye to these tires. These are like Michelin all season tires. They're too expensive for my ass, so. These tires are actually pretty fire. I've been driving on that tread for about two months and just ripping around, launch controlling, driving in rain, doing donuts, well, donuts in rain, and they've held up pretty good. But a set for all four, because it's a Quattro, I need to get, they're gonna cost around $1,400. So I was like, boy, that's way too expensive. Would you look at those boys? Those are messed up. You can see they are messed up. The car is currently on H&R, H &R Sport Springs. It drops the car like 1.5 inches on all sides. And I'm running an 8 mil spacer in the front and a 15, no, 12 and a half mil spacer in the rear. So if I have a car full of people, I'm rubbing everywhere. The rear, one little bump and it's rubbing everywhere. So every single tire is basically like that. The front's more so than the rear, but them boys are cooked. And those are 255, 35 R19s. I ordered the same ones with the same aspects and same spec tire, which is probably not a good idea since I'm rubbing. I should've got like a 245, 35 R19. So I have some little stretch, but I have more clearance when I have more people in the car. But yeah, that's a big mistake of mine. Man, or I could just take off the spacers and I won't have any rubbing. But then you won't have clean fitment, so you gotta sacrifice. Nice looking fitment. These wheels are 19 by eight and a half. Same thing with the back. Oh yeah, and with a 43 offset, I think. My next wheels would probably be 20 by nine and a half or 20 by 10 or 19 by nine and a half. 35 offset. So then I won't need spacers. Then I'll run 255 tire and have a minimal stretch. Not, I'm probably no stretch at all. It'll look nice and clean. So we're gonna go ahead and rip around right now with these tires on, do some launch control. Launches and those launch controls in those corners these tires like they're worn down like crazy and the camber really messed up the tr inner tread 
but like they still hook and they're still good like bro wow i should have bought these again but no i decided to cheap out we're also getting two new shipments coming soon an intake so we can hear that supercharger one and a rear diffuser yeah 